They wandered in the wilderness in a desolate way. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble. He delivered them out of their distress. He led them forth by the right way that they might go to a city for a dwelling place. Oh, that men will give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and his wonderful works to the children of men. For he satisfies the longing soul and fills the hungry soul with goodness. Amen. Here is someone who is lost in the wilderness. Wilderness. Thirsty and hungry. You know, the Kalahari wilderness is nearby. The Sahari desert. Barren land. When you get lost there, you are in trouble. My half-brother, recently, or not too long ago, left Ghana, went, was trying to go to Europe, so he passed through Libya and trying to cross the Mediterranean to this. But in order to get to Libya, they have to walk from West Africa, cross the desert. And I tell you, thousands of people are dying in the desert. In his group, there were 120 of them. Only 65 survived. So many die. That is your experience. Wandering, homeless, in the wilderness. But the good shepherd found you. He discovered you. When you say you are lost in the wilderness, some of us are lost in the barrenness of life. Meaningless existence. We are literally floating through no direction. No way out. But suddenly someone came through. Pardoned you. Set you free. Amen. See some of us have gone through that experience. You are in prison. Enslaved by habit. Alcohol, drugs, sex. Whatever you can think of. Tobacco. We cannot set ourselves free. And some of us are in literal chains. Some of us, the chains, we didn't bring upon ourselves. Chains of circumstances. You are in a particular marriage. You are enslaved. Being abused. Persecuted. There is no way out. Death is what awaits you. And somehow, you cried to the Lord for help and he delivered you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah means praise the Lord. Hosanna is actually a plea. It is a prayer for salvation. It comes from two Hebrew words. Yasha, to save, to deliver. And Anna, to beg or besiege. So Hosanna in English means, I beg you Lord, save. Please deliver us. So what is the time? I answer, it is either hallelujah time. If God has done something for you, praise the Lord. If you are going through a crisis, then cry Hosanna. Lord, save me.